Okay, this video is for the Fall 2021 UNH VR class over in Art. Uh, if you're using this in 2021, you'll probably want to go to something with OpenXR instead. Uh, this is going to be outdated for you, but this is great for uh, students that do not program because of its uh, serious simplicity. Now, uh, we're going to be using the Steam VR plugin rather than OpenXR as we talked about before. Again, this is outdated, but it is easy. To do that, we're going to go to your browser, go to the Unity Asset Store, make sure you're logged in, and search for Steam VR. Click on this Steam VR plugin by Valve Corporation. You'll want to add it to your assets, which will be this button here, and then press Open in Unity which will take you to the package manager with my assets and show you SteamVR plugin. Uh, I have an error here, you probably won't. Um, and this is because I've been working with other plugins and this one before today. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and download and then import this. Should only take a second. We're gonna wanna import everything uh, you'll have a bunch of check marks. I've just imported this before, but my cable fell out, so it failed. Uh, <laughs> so we click on import. It's going to go through a whole little process here. Uh, this is the second time I'm recording this, but that's okay. Uh, the first time I just had, you know, not technical issues, physical issues. All right, so this is finished importing. We go to our scene. If you recall, we have that nice little uh, night-ish scene or dusk evening scene. We have our uh, scalar cube here as well, and we're going to add our camera and our ability to see. So this will be really nice and plug and play. Under assets, you'll find Steam VR. If you just go into the search here, click on our search for player. Oh, that's my controller is turning off. One second. Leave these on for the demo. There's going to be player rig and this symbol that says player. We want the one in the middle. It'll say assets, CVR, interaction system, core, prefabs, player, prefab. Drag that into your scene and leave it be. <coughs> now, this player prefab has a folder under here that says Steam VR objects in our hierarchy. I'll make this a little bit bigger. If you want to attach something to either the left or right hands, this is where you'll put it, under here. So say uh, in the same section as hover point and object attachment point. Um, and that'll let you attach things to either hand. You'll probably have to rotate things. Uh, we'll work it out in class. If I press play, it's not going to work right away, and that's fine. Uh, normally, it will tell you, well, mine will work right away, now that I've done this the second time, but uh, it's going to bring you over and ask you, hey, do you want to make bindings and interactions? You're going to say, yes, I do, uh, and it'll bring you back out here. We're going to click on Save and Generate for our action sets. This is the window that it's going to bring up save and generate. It's going to go through a whole little process here. We're not going to make any action sets for this class. I'm going to provide them for you. I'm also going to give you the scripts that run them so that we can move around and move and uh, jump and turn and do whatever it is that we need to do. Now that our action sets are going to function, um, you'll probably get a warning in the console the next time you press this button that says you're using the new input system or you're using the old input system, something isn't working, you'll need to go to project settings under edit to project settings, click on player here, go to other settings, and then down to active input handling under configuration and set this to both. Um, this is another piece of evidence that this is outdated 
that it needs the old input manager, but nowadays we use the input system. So you're going to click on both, um, and we'll worry about phasing it out later. If you press the play button this one last time, this will almost completely work. There's only one more thing to do. You'll notice that if I pick up my headset and I take a quick look around, uh, we're in VR. It works just fine. Just one last thing to do. Uh, if it should notice my hands, it usually does okay noticing my hands. Hold on. Let's see what's up. Nope, display cable has become disconnected. Oh, this happened again. Oh no. Ah, there are my hands. Uh, I can't see anything through the headshot because uh, something's physically wrong on my head. But uh, these are pink, which means we've forgotten to do one thing after we imported an asset, which is go to edit, render pipeline, universal render pipeline, object, Upgrade project materials to universal RP materials, and then our hands will work again. So I'll be able to put on this headset. Looks like I can see again. Take a look in here as it finishes loading, as it maybe finishes loading, and then oh, I got my nice gloved hands. Got our big fireplace here, and if I very gently stand up here you'll notice uh, that our cube is a pretty good height so I'm not I mean I'm about six foot this is about six two six three six four six five or so uh, so our scale is good this looks great to me yeah so now scalar issues down by uh, using the uh, two unit tall on the Y the scalar cube here. Okay, so that's all you'll need to do. Uh, you'll have to have that in by Monday if you're in my class. If you're not in my class, uh, you probably don't have any deadlines anymore, so good for you. Um, and that'll be the way that we'll demonstrate these finals. Again, I'll give you the code for moving and jumping and whatever else that it is that you need to do. Okay, so that's how to set up Steam VR uh, in 2021. Pretty plug and play, like it a lot. Um, so thank you for watching, I suppose, is what people say at the end of these.